Oh, welcome back my gardening friends and apologies for the uh, rain noise. This is my uh, fridge, the one I'm allowed and I decided to save some of the uh, trailing cherry tomatoes which uh, will eventually get uh, their own square pot so all my tomato seeds and the uh, strawberry seeds have uh, gone in there the tomatoes get sliced up left there and we started saving some of the seed potatoes that were taking out the permanent bed the purple variety they're my own um, sarpo mirrors grown from the uh, seed pods there's the jazz for supermarket and we're still holding them back a bit squishy but a lot before when we're ready we plant them in a bit of soil compost they'll fatten up and uh, chit away so if you see that now this potato is exactly the same as what uh, is in the greenhouse there's my rockets from the last year's overwintering and we've got a couple there either kestrel or picasso not sure i will know the difference eventually we just need to keep those uh, cooler while we get these warmer days and there's no good storing them in my greenhouse grow room there's nothing going on in the grow room that's where the mars hydro uh, sp 150s are and uh, these are the same potatoes there that you've just seen but grown on at a different time i'll just slip under the uh, space blankets and here's some more of the exactly same potato seed uh, that's the jazz and there's my save seed one remaining seed there's only one in there but look at the amount of uh, roots come out you see me actually planting that up on my how to grow uh, Christmas potatoes um, and I say I just bring them on at different times the same seed potatoes so there's the Mars Hydro TS600, the latest one that we are reviewing. We've showed you before on a few things that are in here. Um, it normally covers about three foot by three foot, unlike the um, SP150, which covers two foot by two foot. But I think you'll agree, everything under here is looking quite nice getting a different light come through the screen so i'm hoping you can see it a lot better but the lettuce couldn't come again and looking ideal I'm not sure whether the radishes will produce over there these are the walking onions i'm hoping to take them up to the allotment shortly but these are these all here are from alan from the dawn chorus plot the ones that are growing now the walking onions they'll get a whole pallet collar bed to themselves and then we'll keep building our stocks these are the shallots and they won't pull out so they're rooted down and i believe the roots are all out at the bottom uh, some safe pepper seeds there we're drying those out these are the field beans so you can see the difference that's my homemade compost 50 percent wood chips 50 percent leaf mold and uh, as you can see some of them are doing quite well there some more there and uh, here are the broad beans bunyards at exhibition there's a few there for me they're all chitting away I've, I've checked them all and here's uh, Marie's curries uh, crimson flowered uh, broad beans I forgot to plant them last year so robo crop reminded me uh, I'm having a go at uh, some white gem lettuce in that row and this row we've got some mustard some very old seed and we've got some uh, watercress there aqua that isn't focusing oh excuse me no i'm not going to eat it and uh, i'm trying some spinach the new zealand spinach this spinach and if i do get a chance i'll show you what it looks like at the allotment but uh, these uh, leaves are doing really well they started off under the uh, mars hydro uh, at the start and now they're at the top of the greenhouse under my uh, wing lights 
So uh, I have one of those. Just check there's uh, no critters there, just in case I have to chew a bit harder. Excuse me. But definitely a good idea to bring it inside. So at the moment, very happy with the Mars Hydro lights. They've got the, uh, the ratchet straps there, so it's easy to pull them up and down. And of course, no heat in here. All the heat's being generated. Uh, we're autumn, not winter at the moment. Eventually, when the SP150s are in the grow room, any heat will come through the vents and into here. It'll be shared amongst these plants. My spare broad beans in case they don't uh, chit or they rot off because even if you chit them, you plant them and they still rot off. And there's the field beans. And some have uh, chitted, some haven't. But you can let these get to another two inches before you actually plant them. They keep going. There's plenty of energy in that, uh, that seed. Uh, just keeping them uh, well watered while they're actually open. If you cover them up, they uh, do last a bit longer. And here we've got some more successional sowing of the uh, lettuce. Uh, couldn't come again so I'm quite pleased with myself at the moment um, keep watching the Mars Hydro TS 600 videos because there's a box there I wonder what's in the box but there's going to be a thank you for one of my viewers so don't miss that video where I'll be asking a question I'll be asking What's Robocrop's name? <laughs> it don't get easier than that, guys. Anyway, keep an eye out for that video and uh, it'll be up to yourselves to ensure that you buy uh, it's a UK uh, LED light. So it'll be up to you to use the right adapter and make sure the voltage is correct for your country. So there's the SP150. It's a lot heavier and it's a bit uh, dearer as well but a, a, a good light uh, definitely a good light and the uh, the Mars Hydro there throwing out the light is so much lighter and easy to use and it's cheaper and it's given me uh, really uh, good uh, results now if you're growing spaces let's say five foot by five foot then just rotate your plants, bring them around. So all of them get a, a little bit of uh, light instead of buying too many lights. And many thanks for all the lovely comments throughout my last few videos, especially when I come second in the nationals with my long beetroot. If I hadn't have broken my long parsnip, I would have come first in the long parsnip. Ooh, that's really cutting guys, but never mind, lessons learned. Well, looking at the skies, guy, it's raining and not worth me actually going up the allotment. Whoa, whoa, blue sky, blue sky, come this way. I've collected so much rain water just lately. And uh, here in the UK, Midlands and all around the UK, I had such a lot of water. So I hope you're all safe and uh, you haven't had any damage. It won't be long before we do uh, a logging and storage video and I'll share with you uh, lighting my fire for the first time with a cold chimney etc. What we use is what I call starter logs which are more pine than the uh, hardwood so any light bits of chopped wood I put there that just helps light the fire as you can see I've got it stacked everywhere February 2014 that says so I've got plenty I've got a spare <coughs> deep freeze now uh, it's all been cleaned uh, just in case I need it. If I don't put food in there, I'll stick all my junk in. I've got some more cardboard boxes from the uh, supermarket just in case I get a run on uh, apples that uh, people uh, uh, throw away. And I've got my own uh, cooking apples to harvest. Uh, yeah, so uh, Mrs. K wants to uh, do another crumble, so I'll be picking the ones that have been attacked by the uh, birds uh, or rats and the ones that have started to go bad I'll work my way through them all and Mrs K on the remaining 
the peel and cores and rubbish all go in the compost bin. This is the uh, polytunnel cover that Carl sent me. Uh, it's a six meter by three. So when I raise the tunnel, I'll slip that over the top, fasten it down, and that'll be a temporary cover for my new polytunnel uh, revamp higher. And then if I have to make any adjustments, it won't matter if I have to cut into that. What I don't want to do is cut into some brand new clear plastic and then think, hmm, I don't really want a window there. All my little goodies in there keep all uh, the items that I want to use and uh, let's get back in the greenhouse grow room so there's the TS 600 Mars Hydro the links to the Amazon store are in the description they stay there all the time so why not have a little look and see if uh, any of these take your fancy um, I have no issues at all with the communication with Mars Hydro uh, you have to be careful because there's a guarantee but only for so many months and then you have to pay things so just make sure you're really happy with what you're uh, what you're buying and like I say what's in the box take care my friends happy gardening to you all till next time Turn off an air.